so Deontay Wilder landed at 34 on the list of the most famous athletes in the world today. However, fans and haters seem to not be happy about this result. Even though he don't even fight on ESPN, so it's not like they being biased toward him because they don't benefit out of Deontay Wilder being high on the list and trying to praise him when he doesn't even fight for their network. However, another fighter that does fight on their network that they had on the list, which was Tyson Fury, he was ranked at number 39. Then Anthony Joshua, he was ranked at number 63, I believe. And then Canelo Alvarez at 68. And to end it all, Golovkin at 78. Now, this list came out not too long ago. But the only reason I bring it back up and share some light on it is because I want to prove some points and respond to a lot of Deontay Wilder haters that was commenting on my last video that I made talking about Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua and why Wilder turned down the DAZN deal. Now, some people were so offended that Wilder is the most famous boxer, I guess, in the world today that's active beating fighters like Canelo Alvarez to the list, Gennady Golovkin, Anthony Joshua, and Tyson Fury himself, who claims... He's more famous than Deontay Wilder in his own country. Which is funny to me, walking around looking foolish, trying to prove that point, when he knows damn well nobody knows Tyson Fury, and we all know who Wilder is, at least the people that do watch boxing. And that's not my opinion, that's facts, because SBN list proves it and cosigns what I'm saying. But you had people coming to my last video posting comments like, did you just say Wilder is more famous than Canelo Alvarez? Oh, you completely biased. Keep in mind, I was not talking about Canelo Alvarez in the video. However, they brought Canelo Alvarez up. So I'm assuming y'all being biased because I'm not being biased. I'm following the list. Just because Canelo Alvarez is more famous in your town or your hometown that you from doesn't mean he's more famous than Wilder in the world. You're living in your own little world. I'm talking about the world. So I hate when people try to bring up certain scenarios that doesn't fit the narrative. For example, in the Middle East, the most two famous boxers out there is Muhammad Ali and Prince Nassim Hamed, period. Doesn't mean Prince Nassim Hamed is the most famous fighter in the world just because he's the most famous fighter in the Middle East. And in Asia, in China, for example, Shamin, probably the most famous fighter over there in their content. Every time he fights, 200 million people watch the fight over there. Does that mean he the most famous fighter in the world? Absolutely not. So we talking about the world. Y'all talking about a certain region y'all from. Now, one thing we do know is that Mexican people do support their own as far as going to live events, buying pay-per-views. And that's because they hardcore boxing fans. The main two sports I think in Mexico are soccer and boxing. So obviously, if they see an upcoming fighter that's great, they're going to support him. But when it comes to the African-American, it's a little different because there's so many different sports like basketball, football that has a lot of athletes. And even in boxing, you got Wilder, you got Errol Spence, you got Crawford, you got the Charlo brothers, you got Hurd, you got so many great fighters that it's hard to keep up with and support every one of them. However, Wilder gets his fair share of support because he sells out in New York. Yes, him versus Tyson Fury wasn't a smart idea to fight in California because it's mainly Hispanic fans and 
they they almost sold it out and they still did great numbers as far as pay-per-view because they sold 300k in the u.s and 700k in the uk which is a combine of 1 million pay-per-view on top of that it was 10 million streams and illegal streams not counting how many different countries bought the fight to get the rights to televise the fight in their own country so wilder brings revenue brings money and he's the most famous athlete as far as in boxing today in the world according to espn they have him on the list with lebron james missy ronaldo tiger all these famous athletes but people are hating on the fact that wilder is famous tyson fury walking around asking people who wilder is asking people that's not boxing fans random people some people don't keep up with boxing they could care less you if you ask them who mayweather is they probably don't know and if you ask a person that watches boxing they most likely know if you ask an african-american they most likely know who wilder is and like i said at the end of the day wilder i seen him on bet on wilder now on too many different platforms and he still show up and give brothers interviews because he's a humble man so he deserved what he earned because he earned it through hard work and dedication it's like nothing was given to him for you to hate on him. so i'm being biased because i'm giving the man the credit he deserved are you kidding me it's not even i'm not gassing him up this is things he earned he's the most famous athlete in the world as far as when it comes to boxing so at the end of the day love him or hate him it's not canelo alvarez that's going viral doing whatever he's doing or tyson fury being a clown or whatever he got to do to get get out there it's not tyson fury that's going viral it's wilder that's going viral to this day that went viral when he went when he knocked out Stavern. that went viral that's why he's on that list because of things that's going viral that's making him more famous but y'all over here trying to convince me that wilder is not famous when everything that happens around him suggests that he is y'all even coming in to watch his videos to talk about canelo alvarez so apparently something bother y'all that wilder is being talked about bringing up stuff that don't matter like oh it's canelo alvarez who got the biggest deal in all sports first of all that was a 10 fight deal floyd mayweather got a six fight deal that was equivalent of that if floyd mayweather was offered a 10 fight deal if he wanted a 10 fight deal he would have got paid probably like 600 million for that contract Floyd Mayweather, matter of fact, made 300 million in one night. He made what Canelo Alvarez finna make in 10 fights in one fight. So let's not even talk about contracts when it comes to that. Wilder, when he was given the offer by the zone for the 120 million dollar, let's talk about it. Since people like to bring it up, talking about, oh, you think the zone gonna offer Wilder uh, 120 million for four fights and anthony joshua won't be included that's pathetic okay well that's your opinion opinions are like assholes everybody got one but what matters are the facts at the end of the day tyson fury who's not more famous than wilder who doesn't have a belt at this moment who's not the high, the longest reigning champion who doesn't have a high knockout percentage rate who's not exciting like people like to say they want to see excitement right wilder brings that to the table every time he come in you're almost guaranteed a knockout even when wilder doesn't knock his opponents out he puts them on their ass as the Vern, the first time he fought him as tyson fury but tyson fury the man with no belt don't know where his mental health is 
Sometimes he's there, sometimes he's not. He got offered up to 80 million for three fights, I believe, which is not 100% a fact, according to Bob Aaron. But let's say the number is around there. And the Wilder fight is not guaranteed on that list. Matter of fact, he ducked the Wilder rematch. He could have, if he would have beat Wilder and then went to ESPN, he would have got a better off. But apparently he wasn't confident enough. He wanted to grab the money first. But let's not even talk about that right now. Let's just talk about the offer he received. The Anthony Joshua fight is not guaranteed. The Wilder fight is not guaranteed. So why they gave him that kind of money? Because he's an important piece in the heavyweight division. Just like Wilder. Wilder, matter of fact, is an even more, more important piece. He holds the key to undisputed. Him and Anthony Joshua, whoever wins that fight, they will be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. So, obviously, they're going to want to grab Wilder because he bring in he, he You could put, put him in there with Ortiz. He bring him money. You could put him in there with literally anybody. Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, Dylan White. I mean, the buildup for that would be crazy. So, it don't matter who you put Wilder in there with. He's still going to sell the fight. So obviously the zone gonna want him anyways. And even if they offered him an Anthony Joshua fight, if it wasn't 50-50, then Wilder shouldn't take the deal, period. Even if they offered him the Anthony Joshua fight guaranteed, if it's not 50-50, why should he take the fight? Well, I mean, why should he take the and sign the contract? Because he deserved 50-50. Him versus Anthony Joshua, he could make up to a hundred million. The DAZN deal is 120 million for four fights. It's silly for him to take that deal if he could get the Anthony Joshua fight and make that kind of money by himself without any promoter, none of that, and then he becomes the undisputed champion of the world. You know what kind of money will be flowing in at the time? I mean, the Tyson Fury rematch after that. You got Dylan White, you got Ortiz rematch. You got so many doors and so many options for Wilder. Obviously, he's going to explore those and not sign with the zone if he feels the need to. If they not present him a, the, the right offer, if they over there not being prepared, why not turn it down? Y'all see the zone issued an apology to Wilder for a freaking reason. Because they want him knowing that Wilder is... One of the most important pieces in the heavyweight division. So I bring up all these points just to prove to the haters and the doubters. Is that no matter how much y'all hate, it don't matter. The truth gonna come out. If you can't handle the truth, then go listen to your friends. Go listen to some biased channel, but that's not what you're gonna get here. I don't care how much I dislike a fighter. I don't care how much I like a fighter. I'm going to go by the facts. At the end of the day, I like Anthony Joshua. I like Wilder as well. When Anthony Joshua was on the come up, I told hella people that's Wilder's biggest threat at the time. And then Anthony Joshua disappointed the whole world by turning his back on us. So why would I have Anthony Joshua back when he don't even have our back? He the one who said this fight gonna happen in 2020. He ain't ready. But Anthony Joshua fans want to stay defending the, the man when he out here just pretending he want the fight. When he really don't want the fight. I don't know if it's because he keep getting dropped in sparring. And Anthony, we all know Wilder got that eraser. He got that hammer. So I don't know if it's that reason or whatever reason it is. At the end of the day, if you're the champion of the world, you got to get in there with anybody. Or let them bells go. So that's all I'm saying. So at the end of the day, you don't got to like me, but you're going to respect me. Regardless, if if I get a chance to interview Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn, Wilder, whoever it is, at the end of the day, they're going to respect me because they know what I'm saying is facts. I'm not bringing up no opinion or none of that. Meanwhile, y'all the one being biased, bringing up fighters y'all love the most, that y'all want to stay protected. That y'all don't want to fight the hardest competition out there. 
aka Anthony Joshua, aka Canelo Alvarez. I mean, give Canelo Alvarez for fighting Jacob. You know, I give him credit for that, but he still got to fight his mandatory Charlo, um, Andre. These fights got to happen. On the other hand, Wilder, he want to fight everybody. Y'all said Tyson Fury beat him, right? He wanted the Tyson Fury rematch. It was Tyson Fury who turned down the rematch. So, how can you not respect that? You can't do nothing but respect Wilder, hate him or love him. You got to respect the fact that he want to get in there with everybody. And like I always say, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't listen to these casual ass fans and don't come over here because all we talk about is the whole truth and nothing but the truth because that's what we all about. Peace.